ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम थर्ड कैंटो ट्वेंटी सिक्स चैप्टर टेक्स्ट नंबर नाइन देवहूतिर्वाच प्रकृते लक्षण पुषोत्तम ब्रूही कारण सदसच्चयदात्मक ट्रांसलेशन एंड परपोर्ट बाईज डिवाइन ग्रेस ए सी भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी शील प्रभुपात की जय ट्रांसलेशन देवहूति सेड ओ सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड काइंडली एक्सप्लेन द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द सुप्रीम पर्सन एंड हिज एनर्जीज फॉर बोथ ऑफ दीज आर द कॉजेज ऑफ दिस मैनिफेस्ट एंड अनमैनिफेस्ट क्रिएशन परपोर्ट बाय शिला प्रभुपाद प्रकृति और मेटेरियल नेचर इज कनेक्टेड विद बोथ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड एंड द लिविंग एंटिटीज जस्ट एज अ वुमन इज कनेक्टेड विथ हर हजबेंड एज अ वाइफ एंड विथ हर चिल्ड्रन एज अ मदर इन भगवद गीता द लॉर्ड सेज दैट ही इम्प्रेग्नेट्स मदर नेचर विथ चिल्ड्रन लिविंग एंटिटीज एंड देर आफ्टर ऑल स्पीशीज ऑफ लिविंग एंटिटीज बिकम मैनिफेस्ट द रिलेशनशिप ऑफ ऑल लिविंग एंटिटीज विथ मेटेरियल नेचर हैज़ बीन एक्सप्लेन्ड now an understanding of the relationship between material nature and the supreme lord is sought by devahuti the product of that relationship is stated to be the manifest and unmanifest material world the unmanifest material world is the subtle mahatatva and from that mahatatva the material manifestation has emerged in the vedic literatures it is said that by the glance of the supreme lord the total material energy is impregnated and then everything is born of material nature it is also confirmed in the ninth chapter of bhagavad gita that under his glance adhyakshena under his direction and by his will nature is working it is not that nature works blindly after understanding the position of the conditioned souls in relation to material nature devahuti wanted to know how nature works under the direction of the lord and what the relationship is between the material nature and the lord in other words she wanted to learn the characteristics of the supreme lord in relation to the material nature the relationship of the living entities with matter and that of the supreme lord with matter are certainly not on the same level although the mayavadis may interpret it in that way when it is said that the living entities are bewildered the mayavadi philosophers ascribe this bewilderment to the supreme lord but that is not applicable the lord is never bewildered that is the difference between personalists and impersonalists devahuti is not unintelligent she has enough intelligence to understand that the living entities are not on the level of the supreme lord because the living entities are infinitesimal they become bewildered or conditioned by material nature but this does not mean that the supreme lord is also conditioned or bewildered the difference between the conditioned soul and the lord is that the lord is the lord the master of material nature and he is therefore not subject to its control he is controlled neither by spiritual nature nor by material nature he is the supreme controller himself and he cannot be compared to the ordinary living entities who are controlled by the laws of material nature two words used in this verse are sat and asat the cosmic manifestation is asat it does not exist but the material nature material energy of the supreme lord is sat or ever existing material nature is ever existing in its subtle form as the energy of the lord but it sometimes manifests this non existent or temporarily existent nature the cosmos an analogy may be made with the father and mother the mother and the father exist but sometimes the mother begets children similarly this cosmic manifestation which comes from the unmanifest material nature of the supreme lord sometimes appears and again disappears but the material nature is ever existing and the lord is the supreme cause for both the subtle and gross manifestations of this material world in the sense the bhakti dant purport <coughs> The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam 3rd canto 26th chapter text number 9 given by his divine grace AC Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada recorded on December 21st 1974 in Bombay India Vaishnava Bhagavatam 
प्रकृते पुरुष लक्षण पुरुषोत्तम ब्रुहि कारण अशत चदात्मक स कपिल देव इज एड्रेस्ड या एज पुरुषोत्तम पुरुषोत्तम the living entities the super soul and the supreme personality of god uh, living entities are sometimes called purusha because uh, purusha means enjoy so the living entities uh, wants to enjoy this material world Although he is not enjoy, we have explained many times the living entities. That is also prakriti, but uh, he also wants to enjoy. That is called illusion. So, in his enjoying <coughs> temperament, he may be called purusha. Uh, illusory purush real purush is bhagwan <coughs> purush means bhokta the bhokta real bhokta enjoy is the supreme personality of god krishna bhoktaram jagadavasham sarvalok mahishwara so devuti wants elucidation of the characteristics of purush and prakriti so uh, purusha is one but prakriti there are many energies prakriti energy uh, just like we have got practical experience that husband and wife the wife is supposed to be the energy uh, the husband works <clears throat> day and night very hard but when he comes home the wife gives him comfort eating sleeping mating in so many ways he gets fresh energy especially the kormis they get energy by the behavior and service of the wife otherwise uh, the kormis cannot work anyway the energy principle is there similarly the supreme lord he has got also energy in the vedanta sutra we understand the supreme personality of godhead the original source of everything ब्रह्मा अर्थात ब्रह्म जिज्ञासा दट ब्रह्म इन वन कोड बैस दे डिस्क्राइब दट जन्मादश जता द ब्रह्म सुप्रीम एब्सोल्यूट थ्रो इज दैट फ्रॉम होम एवरीथिंग कम्स सो अनलेस दिस प्रिंसिपल इज दैट that brahma the absolute truth is also energized or what uh, with his energies uh, otherwise why this conception comes within this material world the material world is shadow reflection of the spiritual world <coughs> unless the original thing is there in the spiritual world Uh, it cannot be reflected in the material world <coughs> so purusha is uh, um, accompanied by varieties of energies in the upanishad it is stated natasya karyam karanam ch vidyate natasya sama adhikasya dishyate parasya shakti vividhaiva syate Uh, for uh, the supreme lord absolute truth 
as multi energy. Uh, so the multi energy is divided into three divisions. Uh, that is called antaranga shakti, internal energy, external energy, and the marginal energy. All of them are energies uh, or prakriti. <coughs> So in the Sankha philosophical discussion, uh, Devahuti, uh, she is also the mother of Kapil Dev. She asked this intelligent question, what are the characteristics of the prakriti and what are the characteristics of the purusha? <clears throat> prakriti purusha lakshanam purusha He is addressing his son, Kapil Dev, God, and as Purushottama, Uttama Hush, Uttama Madhama and Adhama. This is comparative. So Uttama Purusha is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna, or his incarnation like Kapila Dev, Vishabh Dev. There are many incarnations. So they are all Purushottam. Uh, so, so far, uh, in this material conception of life, uh, there are two Purushas, one the living entity and the other is the super-soul. Uh, so above this, living entity is the Adhama Purusha and the super-soul is the Madhama Purusha and Krishna, or the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is Uttama Purusha, the Supreme. Uh, <coughs> and uh, in this material world, the Adhama Purusha is called also Nitya Baddha. But similarly, there are uh, other living entities in the spiritual world they are called uh, nitya mukta or nitya siddha. Oh. They never come in this material world. Uh, uh, just like Rupa Goswami in his uh, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, he describes some comparison that the sea fishes, they never come to the river. Uh, the river fishes sometimes go to the sea, but the sea fishes, they never come to the river. Uh, <coughs> similarly, uh, there are living entities in the spiritual world. Uh, they never come in this material world. Their number is greater, at least three times greater than all the living entities within this material world. <coughs> and the super soul. Uh, he is also living entity, but superior, uh, super soul, soul and super soul. Uh, the super soul is also living with the along with these uh, ordinary living entities. Uh, they have friends. That is described in the Upanishad that two parts are sitting on one tree. One bird is eating the fruit, and the other bird is simply witness. Uh, uh, Paramatma uh, upadashta anumanta. That is described in the Bhagavad Gita. Paramatma is existing within our heart. Ishara sarva bhutana riddesha arjuna tishthati. Uh, he is simply upadashta. He is not enjoying. He has no interest to enjoy this material world. Uh, <clears throat> but the other bird, the living entity, he is trying to enjoy this material world. And according to his karma, upadrashta, uh, I wanted to do something or I have done something, the resultant action I will have to enjoy and suffer in the next life. The witness is uh, the Paramatma, Sakshi, Upadashta Anumanta. 
<coughs> antarjami sakshi we cannot do anything without the knowledge of the uh, supreme personality god it in his uh, paramatma feature uh, he is uh, fulfilling our desires uh, and waiting for the opportunity when the living entity will give up this business of uh, eating the fruit of this body uh, of the tree uh, and simply uh, become engaged again come back to the super soul that opportunity he is looking up <clears throat> so uh, the christian philosophers they do not uh, believe in the parmatma future and <clears throat> they say that if i am punished for my past deeds then who is the witness because in the court if somebody is charged with criminality there must be some witnesses so uh, we had a christian professor in our college they did not believe in this uh, witness of the supreme partner personality of god is witness within the heart uh, witness must be this is very intelligent that without witness how my charges charges upon me can be substantiated to witness is the supreme personality of god upadeshta anuvanta he is seeing everything uh, so that is purush also and we are also purusha and above this two purusha the supreme purusha is uh, krishna as it is described in the bhagavad gita 8th chapter purushottam uh, yoga <coughs> so bruhi karanaya rasa sadasatcha jadatmakam so the uttama purusha purushottam just like krishna or kapil de eh, they come within this material world Uh, but they are not affected uh, but we are affected uh, we are uh, according to our desire and uh, condition we are affected by the different modes of material nature it is described in the vedic literature just like the fire and the spark <coughs> the fire is always blazing but the sparks coming out of the fire they sometimes fall down uh, and <clears throat> this falling down is described that if the spark falls uh, on some dry grass then immediately the grass is also ignited into fire uh, that is satogon uh, and rajogon means on the ground it gradually the ignition the fire of the spark becomes dis- uh, finished and if the spark falls down on some water then immediately it is extinguished similarly when we come down uh, from the spiritual world uh, on our on account of desire ichha desha samuthena sarge janti parantapo by our ichha Krishna gives us uh, to fulfill our desires. Uh, so, as we contact with the different modes of material nature, uh, we uh, are situated either in satogon or rajogon or tamo, and our different characteristics are visible. Uh, but the purushottama, the supreme personality of God. Uh, he is never become affected by the material nature. This is the general uh, description of the purusha uh, <coughs> and purushottama. Uh, 